All right, kitties. The moral of this story is don't drink anything with caution on the label. <laughs> Ooh. We're looking at Vector today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, I had a lot of requests for this even before I started my request section and I'm surprised I never reviewed this before. Um, it looks really good. Now let me explain what Vector Linux is a little bit before I go into uh, covering what this has. Basically this is a Slackware based distribution so this should cover Slackware on my uh, website pretty much uh, because of the fact I really don't have the time to build a Slackware based operating system to do a number of tutorials on that. But my friend Pincasts, um, and you've seen his links in my shows, plus on my uh, channel there's a link to his page. He covers Slackware in greater detail than I am able to on my channel. Slackware and Gen 2 are pretty much his niche. So uh, I recommend that you check out his channel. But anyway, right here it is. We've got Vector Linux, and uh, very much like Arch, this is another operating system that attempts to keep it simple. But this is what I would define as another high maintenance operating system because uh, the package management uh, is, is one of the things. Uh, this uses a package management system called a TXZ. Now, essentially, TXZ requires you to when you install a package and I'll use an example let's say the GIMP you want to install the GIMP and start using it. okay well you installed the GIMP's package but also you're going to have to install its dependencies and if its dependencies require dependencies you're gonna to have to install those as well this is a little bit more tedious and um, for a beginner I wouldn't recommend this but the thing is, it is a nice operating system. Slackware is arguably the oldest Linux distribution that is in existence. Uh, seconded, um, I think I think Debian comes in second behind Slackware. So Slackware is a very old distribution, and this is this vector Linux actually comes to us from Canada, and this is based on Slackware. This is not actually Slackware itself. All right, and uh, basically I went ahead and I installed this in a virtual machine, and uh, let's have a look and see what you get here. All right, well, the first things that catch your eye is, number one, it's got a pretty wallpaper. I like how this looks, and this uses the XFCE user interface right here, okay, and down here, this uses Kyradoc. Now I've already configured it for my local settings and everything for the weather and that sort of thing. Uh, this also comes with a music player. Uh, this uses the Thunar file manager. You get four desktops to choose from. There are a number of graphics applications that come installed on this. You get Inkscape, which is really great for your vector drawing. You get Shotwell for your photo manager and you get the GIMP for managing uh, all of your photos and that sort of thing and doing some really fancy special effects. I'm just learning how to use the GIMP now uh, and I'm also learning how to do Blender. I'm counting down to episode 300 where I'm going to be doing a lot, where I'm going to make that entirely in the GIMP and Blender. So I'm still hitting a major learning curve there. I got a ways to go before I get to that episode, but uh, that should be interesting nonetheless. Uh, you have a link to showing your desktop. Of course, for all of you people who love uh, instant messaging and that sort of thing, you get Pigeon, a calculator, you get Firefox web browser, and then, of course, a link to your terminal. Okay, next on our little tour, um, you'll see we have a standard XFCE panel that has uh, your power, your time, showing the desktop, desktop switcher, uh, waste bin, you have your uh, mixer, battery, 
and this uses WIC D. Uh, you also have some launchers that are located right here, which you can easily customize and choose which ones you want up here, and then a standard menu with quick, with quick launches to uh, to uh, running a specific program, terminal emulator, file manager, mail reader, web browser, and then of course all of your settings are located right here. And then of course a number of accessories that come with this. There are some development tools as you can read on the screen here that this comes with as well. Now something I wanted to point out is that you do have the VL Quick Picks and it is my understanding that these applications from these menus allow you to quickly find some certain a select number of applications that you can install without manually having to install all of those individual dependencies. You also uh, have an education section but this only has the link to the VL Quick Picks. Now, I've noticed as I've been going through and uh, looking at this before starting the camera and doing the review on this, each one of these links in these menus will take you to a specific area in GSLAP, which is the package manager for Vector Linux, which will allow you to well, let me just show you how it works here. Maybe it would be better than trying to explain it. I'm not going to install the uh, new version right now. But as you can see here, these are a list of popular applications for the education menu. And let's go ahead and pick Stellarium because I want to see if this is actually going to work. So I'll press OK. And now it's installing. After the installation is completed, you get a dialog that basically asks you if you want to uninstall any programs that this installer had used. Also, it gives you a reminder that if you run into any bugs, that you need to report these on the Vector uh, Linux forum. And of course you have a link to that here on your desktop along with a, a link to the tutorials and the documentation. Let's go into the menu now and uh, you can see here from education we did install the Stellarium and it did work. Uh, it actually works quite well. Uh, now considering this is a virtual machine, of course, I have a very uh, low frame rate on this, but um, I was able to navigate around a little bit and you can see that it is working. I don't have 3D acceleration enabled on this as well, I, but I just wanted to test this out just to see if it would work. And yes, it does. So uh, that's excellent. That It's good to know that in that application at least, when you are installing something from the menu, uh, you can um, not worry about resolving those individual dependencies. Okay. Uh, also, in games, you will see there's only one game installed here, but you also have another Quick Picks link, which will allow you to install uh, some popular applications. Then, of course, you have a bunch of really nice tools and graphics, a number of internet tools, namely I stated earlier Firefox, Opera, and Pigeon. WICD is your network manager. You also have an FTP client and then again more quick picks so you can add more applications easily. And then of course in multimedia you get Brazero, Excel, Nomen Player, and a bunch of other utilities. In Office, uh, you have a few utilities there, but if you want to have a more comprehensive Office suite, naturally you'll want to hit the Quick Picks link so that you can install uh, maybe LibreOffice or uh, any office of your choice. And then, of course, here's the meat and potatoes of the system, 
all of your tools here for managing your system are right here. Uh, I know a big interest to people is security. And uh, right here you have a nice firewall configuration utility so that you can keep your system locked out and safe. Okay, and then of course you have uh, HTOP, which is a wonderful uh, app, which is a wonderful uh, task manager application that is installed. I mentioned the GSLAP package manager. Let's take a quick look at this. Now, when you're manually searching for applications that are not in the Quick Picks listing, you will need to resolve dependencies on that. And uh, by the way, if I am incorrect on that pincast or anybody out there, uh, please put a comment down below so that uh, I can be corrected. But I'm pretty sure, according to what I have read, that pretty much you have to make sure that you um, resolve all of your dependencies. So you can search for applications. I'm going to do a search for Kazam just for laughs and giggles just to see if it's in the list. Okay, I didn't see it earlier. But the thing is, this listing has updated a few times. But how about GovCView? Okay, that is in here. But the thing is, on this, when you uh, check a given item, okay, it will tell you here what its dependencies are, and you will need to make sure that you have all of these dependencies installed if you want to actually use this application. This can be confusing for a newcomer, but for uh, Linux power users that are out there, this may just be your cup of tea. Vector Linux is a fast, lightweight operating system that allows you to uh, experience Slackware without having to manually build it yourself. Very competent Linux distribution, and this is a good distribution as well if you just want to have something that is uh, pre-configured with a number of applications. There are quick launches to popular software that you would want to use and that sort of thing. I like what I'm seeing here. I'm just surprised I never reviewed this before. If you thought this was useful, please comment below and uh, let me know what your feelings are on this. If you also have any tips you want to share with the community, please put them in the space below. And I'd like to thank all of you for watching. And I have another review heading your way. Mm -hmm.